Hello, Barry. May I come in? Of course. Hey, now that's, that's incredible. I've been thinking about your stew all day. I could almost smell it. Then I come in here, and there you are, and there's your... I'm sorry. I promised I wouldn't do that. What? One of my numbers, old habits. Would you like a cup of tea? No, thank you. A few minutes. Certainly. Thank you. I'm sorry about last night. It's not to me that you owe the apology. Yes, it is. You trusted me and you welcomed me here, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I believe you are. Well, that's very generous of you. Well, I am angry with you, Barry. I have to tell you that. I mean, you lied and you cheated, and those are things that, well, I have very, have very little tolerance for and less understanding. Besides which, you hurt someone that I love very much. But I think you're hurting yourself even more. And I have to keep remembering that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be as honest with you as I know how. Uh, this isn't easy for me. I, I walked around the block three times trying to get up enough courage to come in here. But I did need to see you first to apologize, but more to ask you to help me. Whether I have that right, I, I don't know. Probably, probably not. Maeve, I love Delia. I love her more than I've ever loved anyone. She is everything to me. I know what I've done to her is lousy. I don't have an excuse. I don't have an explanation. I used to be able to say, that's just me, and leave it at that. I can't do that anymore. I don't want to. I know you believe in grace, in the old sense, as a special gift from God to grow and to change. Yes. I never did. But that's what Delia was to me. She is my grace. I've grown because of her, and I want to change, Maeve. I love her. <sighs> what are you asking me, man? Help me. Talk to her. Try to make her understand. She'll listen to you. Just open the door. It can't be over. I've tried, Barry. I want Delia to be, find it in her heart to forgive you for herself, if for nothing else. And? Well, she's very hurt. She's been hurt badly, and she's angry, and she's confused. <laughs> I mean, maybe in time, she'll find it in her heart to forgive you, but right I'll now... Make it up to her. I swear it. Well, I hope you do, for your sake and for hers. But <laughs> I just... I hope you don't really think that I want the two of you to get married, because in my heart, I feel that Roger was the right man for her. As long as I'm telling you the honest thing, I might as well tell you that. I'm sorry, but that's what I believe. All right, well, we're not going to change each other's minds. No. Well, that isn't the answer I was hoping for. Thank you. Delia. No. Please, five minutes, that's all no. I ask. Delia. I gave you five minutes, I gave you five months, now no more. Either you leave or I do. If you will just listen to me, please. All right. Oh, right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Goodbye, Maeve. I do love you. That's true.
Genoa City, Wisconsin. It's a big place. If you want to go downtown where the hip spots are. The Genoa City Athletic Club. Newman Enterprises. I don't know why anyone would want to see that. The Abbott Estate. They have one billion acres there. The Newman Ranch. I'm not sure if it's Victor or the horses. Something about it is rank. Jump into Genoa City on The Young and the Restless weeknights at 7. Tonight on SoapNet, the mob enforcer caught between loyalty. What happens if you're the father of my baby? And true love. Even if this baby is his, I have to fight for him. I want you in my life, no matter what happens. I will always choose you. Watch General Hospital tonight at 10 on SoapNet. Thank you, Glade. Cinnamon. Oh, are you baking a pie? Oh no, it's this candle. Smells like the real thing. Oh, one of the new Glade candles. No, it's French from France. French, huh? Oh, what? You never heard of Glade? <laughs> Introducing Glade's new line of candles, now made with essential oils. You'll believe they're the real thing. They're new. And yes, they're Glade. See Johnson and Family Company. If you decide to quit smoking. There are things you should know that can greatly increase your chances for success. To learn about them, visit Quit Assist Online, a free resource that links you to a wealth of expert quitting information, including tools and tips that have worked for others. Because the more you know about how to quit, the better your chances for success. Quit Assist. Log on through philipmorrisusa.com. Stay tuned for an exciting money-making opportunity from SMC. Would you like to make more money, set your own hours, and spend more time with your family? Well, now you can with SMC. It's amazing, I mean, to go to the mailbox and you get $10,000, $50,000 checks. I was buried in debt, and I was sitting around one day and I saw an SMC commercial. I felt confident that this would work. My best year gross, I did about $350,000. I was making more money than I ever made in my life. SMC supports its members with a huge warehouse stocked with thousands of products that you can sell for profits of up to 300% and more. Call right now to request your free information packet. And remember to ask your operator how you can jumpstart your business with $100 worth of free SMC merchandise. Just pick up the phone and call this toll-free number now. Remember, you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. Call 1-800-605-0576. a little better than all right. I wasn't sure you'd be back. Yes, you were. I'm sorry about last night. What I said, I realized after you'd gone, well, I even knew why I was saying it, but I... That wasn't you. No. I asked your brother to find you for me. I know, he, he did try. But I took my phone off the hook. I wanted to be alone with you. Your music. I put on the stereo and there you were, we were together. The way I used to be. The way you are and always will be, that's not gonna end. I promise you that. So, uh, it's better today, huh? Yeah, sure. Roger changed the medication. And it's, um, all right? Well, I won't be doing any concerts for a little while. But it's what I want. I won't do that to you again. I told you I can take it. I can't. Hello? Oh, hi. She found her way back. I'm glad. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You? Oh, tired. Have you seen Faith today? No, no, why? I was just asking a polite conversation. How are you feeling? It's all right. Mm. You're hurting like hell. Terrific bedside manner. Ken, you're making it harder on yourself. It is my choice. But it's wrong. Let me give you something. You have. But not a dosage sufficient enough to take the pain away. You don't have to do this to yourself, Ken. There's no reason. Look, I have made the decision. Let me have that much. Huh? Maybe Roger's right. If he would just... No. The medication is there. That's what it's for. 
Well, then why don't you just give me enough of it, Roger? Do what I asked. End it? Yeah. No, I won't. That's not my decision, and it's not yours. Why? Look, I have had my life, and it's over. The next few days or weeks are an afterthought, and not a very pleasant one. I don't want to put anyone through this. And look, I, I'm not being altruistic. I want this for myself as much as anyone else. I know who I was. Will you let me go? There's, uh, there's no discussion here. You're due for another shot in 10 minutes, and that will relieve the pain somewhat. If you let me increase the dosage even slightly. Yeah, so I can be out of it, but still breathing. No, thanks. If you're going to make me stay here, I'm staying. But don't offer me that choice again, because it is not a choice. Either too much or not enough. Ken. No. If I'm here, I'm here. And that's it. If. Yes, of course that's all I've got. Now, I told you yesterday, and I'm going to tell you again today. Either you're straight with me, or I won't tell you anything tomorrow. Bull. Because I don't appreciate being lied to by anyone, particularly a client. So let's stop wasting my time and your money, all right? Uh-huh. Yeah. You knew that before you hired me. Then why do... I said, then why did you come here in the first place? That's not what you told me. What? Of course I'm listening to you. Uh, listen, now, there are a few things I have to take care of here. You make up your mind and get back to me. Hi. Hold on. Do you mind not looking over my shoulder? I'm not near your shoulder. If I were, I... All right, I'm finished. Well? Hello. Hello. Well? Well, I just picked up my messages. They said you've been calling me since 10 this morning. Well, Every you... hour. You didn't have to come over. I had a meeting at my editor's a few blocks away, so it was no problem. Oh, I'm glad I'm so convenient. If you're waiting for me to answer that, don't. You want some coffee? I want to know why you called. One does not preclude the other. Rose? I wanted to apologize. I, uh, I guess I overreacted last night. But I don't like the assumption that I'm going to sleep with someone just because we've been getting along. But you didn't make a pass, and it didn't turn into a wrestling match, and I'm grateful for small favors. So. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I have to get back to work. Excuse me? I have a lot of work to do, and I've said what I had to say. That's all. In the first place, you don't dismiss me like that. Uh, look, uh, don't take it personally. Rose, why did you call me? I told you. You don't leave six messages in the space of four hours if all you got to do is apologize. It wasn't that many. Six. What did you want? To apologize, which I've done, and to end things once and for all. Which you have just done. Right. Wrong. Wait. Look, uh, I really don't want to argue with you. Since when? What happened last night bothered me. Mostly because I haven't been able to forget it. So I had to see you today. Because if I didn't, it would go on bothering me. And I wanted to settle things. Doesn't that tell you something? Such as? You figure it out. You uh, always do this? What? Cut people out of your life? There aren't that many people in my life. I am. In my life? Whether you like it or not. Whether I like it or not. Not anymore. Well, I'm not convinced of that yet. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Meaning? Dinner tonight. You owe me. I do? Yeah. There aren't that many people in my life either. When I let someone in, they don't get out that easily. Where? What? You invited me to dinner. I have to know where we're going. 
you choose. It's your show. I'm not falling into that. Well, if you don't want to I'll meet you on the northeast corner of 54th and 6th at 8.30. There are 15 restaurants in a two-block radius. We'll work it out then. Fine. Fine. You have work to do? Yeah. See you later. Yeah. SoapNet salutes the dedicated soap fan. Your pure love of soaps inspires you to great heights. Bring it on, you say, because you've discovered your inner diva. And all you need to know, you've learned from soaps. Only one network knows who you are and what you need. SoapNet, we love soaps. Tonight on SoapNet. A desperate search. That's our daughter. Nears its shocking end. My DNA won't match Emma. Whose family will be saved? Emma is my child. And whose will be destroyed? Please give me back my baby. Watch All My Children tonight at 8 on SoapNet. Around here, there's no time for heartburn. Need a deep drink. Waiting for Pepsi AC just doesn't cut it. Tom, tom, tom. Tom, tom, tom. With the calcium your body needs, Fast Relief is our specialty. Rated T for teen. You know you like to watch. Now it's time to play. Experience new secrets, lies, and scandals. Play the new Desperate Housewives game. Being bad never felt this good. Available now for your PC. You're not even thinking about being pregnant. You're just traveling through life. Then the whole course of it could change. You wonder... What will happen if I am? What will happen if I'm not? When you need to know, you need EPT. It gives you an unmistakable answer, and it's over 99% accurate. No other home pregnancy test is more accurate. It's good to know where you're going. EPT. So accurate, we call it the error-proof test. If you're significantly overweight, you've probably seen this commercial. When is a diet pill worth $153 a bottle? When you're more than 20 pounds overweight and every diet plan has failed, now there's Leptoprin. She's right, but you don't have to pay $153 a bottle to experience significant weight loss. Generics Labs has obtained the exclusive rights to manufacture Leptopril, the same powerful Leptoprin SD formula, the same strength, the same amazing weight loss, but for less than half the price. So if you're significantly overweight, you can get the weight loss you want at a price you can finally afford. Leptopril from Generics Labs. Finally, significant weight loss at an affordable price. Order Leptopril risk-free. Call 1-800-698-9415. That's 1-800-698-9415. Order Leptopril now. Call 1-800-698-9415. That's 1-800-698-9415. <sighs> In the 141-year history of the United States Secret Service, there's never been a traitor until now. You're being investigated for treason. I am being free. You are chasing your worst nightmare. He is smarter and more experienced than all of you. And he knows how you operate, and he will use that against you. The traitor is still out there, Dave. The Sentinel. Hello, Lily. Barry? Yeah. How did you know I was here? I didn't. It must have been fate. Do you believe in fate? Probably not. I do. That's how we met. It all started right here in this place. I was sitting over there at that table. I was waiting for this guy, only he never showed up. That happens to me. But Roger Coleridge did show up, I mean. And he came over, we started talking, and, well, here we are. You and I, not Roger and I. He's not here, except in essence. But do you see now how it's all connected? Me to Roger, to you, to Delia, to me. And the one thing holding us all together... Fate? Right! Or something. Well, we're not quite as connected as we used to be. Delia's still angry? Mm-hmm. Well, she shouldn't be. Yeah, she should be, but... I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Fate? Oh, I can't even pass this off on that. It's me. I wish I could depress you this much. You really do love her. No, yeah, it doesn't seem to make a whole hell of a lot of difference. Of course it does. I blew it. 
Well, I should get going. But you didn't have any lunch. No, I'm not really hungry. I was just wandering around. Fate. Sure. Bye, Lily. Bye. Send Barry away. That's why I had to. I wanted him to hold me and tell me everything was all right. But if he did, I might believe him. I can't do that. You think I made a mistake, don't you? Do you? I don't know. I make so many, I can't tell sometimes. What do you think? Darling, I've already told you my feelings on the subject. I think I should forgive him. I wish I could. He says he wants to change. I believe he does. But that doesn't mean that he has or he will. People can change. I believe that. I did. Only now I'm the same as I ever was. So maybe I didn't really change. Maybe. Oh, I'll get it. Ryan's. Delia? Yes? Hi! Who's this? Lily Darnell. Goodbye. Oh, no, no, I have to talk to you. You and I have nothing to say to each other. Oh, well, you don't have to talk. Just listen, it's vital. Go ahead. Well, not on the phone. It's too impersonal, and this isn't. Well, I'll be in my office tonight. Splendid. I'm going to hang up now. Good. I think I just made another mistake. Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on Soapnet. Nice boy. Proud to call you my stepson. Nosy boy. I'm going to say this just once, Kevin. Mind your own business. Mama's boy? I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time. It's all right, but you're absolutely right. I was a lousy mother. Wild boy. You locked me in a freezer, you set the building on fire, and then you left me there to die. For what? Get to know Kevin Fisher, Genoa City's troubled son of a... I'm not some cold, unfeeling bitch. Well, you're acting like one. The Young and the Restless. Next on Soapnet. What's new in Port Charles? Here's what you need to know. Elizabeth is pregnant. And baby could be mine. We're ready to go. You're gonna have to take me out of here kicking and screaming. Please! Change everything! Just sign them, Lucky. I need to go see her again. And then I guess I have to decide if the chance of having her back is worth taking the risk of losing her forever. Keep up to date with General Hospital. Weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. I'm Ty Treadway. And I'm Rebecca Budding. Join us for Soap Talk in Paradise. Yeah, baby. <laughs> We've got Susan Lucci, Jason Thompson, Kamar de los Reyes, Ingo Rademacher, Julie Penson, Billy Warlock, Jack Wagner, Kelly Monaco, Ryan Dottillo, and Renee Goldsberry. It's Soap Talk in Paradise, only on SoapNet. Soap Talk in Paradise, tonight at midnight. Mwah. Now this is Paradise. <laughs> They say it truly exists, so we seek it out. A miracle food that nourishes the mind and body. And we call it the egg. Purell users see the world differently. They don't see germy bathrooms. They just carry Purell. It kills 99.99% of germs. So look around. The world is cleaner than you think. Purell. Imagine a touchable world. Bottom of the ninth inning, a tie score. <laughs> Hard hit to left field. Is it a foul ball? It's your call. Fair foul. Need a moment. I think he singled home run. Shoot over with tricks. This will take effect within a few minutes. You'll probably sleep for a while. It'll dull the pain somewhat, but... Yeah. I'll check in on you later. Raj, you have a few minutes? Sure. <laughs> Family business. You rest. I love you.
Good, sir. Let him go. What? Let him go, Roger. He knows what he wants. I can't do that. Why? He is lying in there in more pain than anyone has a right to stand. There are alternatives. What? Being so doped up he doesn't even know that he's alive? You know that he won't do that. He will suffer and he will endure. And he can't even do that in peace. Because he knows I'm there. And he won't put me through that. But at least he does know you're there. At least that's something. Not enough! But he is feeling something. He's alive. You want him to die? It's gonna happen. Let it be the way he wants. At least give him that much. The only thing that he has left in his life is his own definition of who he is. Let him have that. Let him die the way he wants to. Yes, uh, Miss Patton. Oh, I, I gave him the injection. Uh, do you want me for anything else? <sighs> no, thanks. Uh, why don't you take a break now? Okay, thank you. It's not my choice, Jill. Or his, or anyone's. Why not? Afternoon. Yeah, is Richie there? Depends. This is Ken George Jones. Hey, man, how are you? Well, not too great, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about the back injury. Sorry. Yeah, well, that's just what we've been telling the press. Ah. Well, he seemed a little bunco to me, but I figured now, who am I to make judgments, right? Well, uh, Kenny, what's, what's going on? Look, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be straight with you, man. We always were. All the time I was supplying uh, the other guys in Berkeley Place, uh, you never touch the stuff. But uh, it's cool. I mean, no judgments either way. Yeah. Well, you see, Rich, the thing is this. I'm dying. I got uh, kidney condition, cancer, lots of complications. Weeks, maybe a month left. Oh, I uh, never realized. Yeah, yeah, I know. And look, I don't want to wait, Richie. I want out now. See, I got some people around, and uh, they're having a bad time. So am I. You got the picture? Yeah, clear. How much do you need? I want out. How do we work it? I'll send someone to pick it up. Uh, she won't know what's going on, so don't, don't let on to her. Yeah, you can trust me. Put it in a cassette. Right. Uh, listen, I don't know if I have the time to put my hands on that much stuff. The market is dry. Look, if we work it, I'll uh, leave it with the doorman at, uh, uh, you got a pencil? Uh, yeah, just, just... Yeah. The address is 4651 East 51st. Got it. Okay, I'll check back with you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Hey, man, I, uh... Yeah. So long. Gonna miss you. Get on track with what's going on in Genoa City. It's always a roller coaster ride in this town of fast movers and smooth talkers. So hold on tight for all the twists and turns you love about the young and the restless. Coming up next, only on SoapNet. <laughs>